Okay, so this video we're going to look at rationalizing the denominator. Uh, and this one, we have two terms in the denominator with a radical. Okay, one term doesn't have a radical, the other one does. Uh, the next example that we work, both will have ra uh, radicals. And so, if you want to watch that. Alright, so, to get rid of the radical, Okay. We're going to have to multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. Okay, so what's the conjugate of the denominator? Well, you can see that our denominator is 3 minus the square root of 18. Well, the conjugate is 3 plus the square root of 18. You just change the sign in the middle, and these are conjugates of each other. And what's going to happen when we multiply that out, it'll get rid of the radical. Now, there's, there's a couple of ways we can go about this. Notice the square root of 18 there. Well, the square root of 18 is the square root of 9 times 2, which is 3 square roots of 2. So we could, we could simplify the square root of 18 and rewrite it as 3 square root of 2 or we can leave it as square root of 18. But if you if you leave it as square root of 18, you're just going to have to simplify it at the end. Okay? So you can either reduce the radical at the beginning or you can reduce the radical at the end of the problem, but you're going to have to reduce it, you know, regardless. So, you know, it's up to you if you want to do it at the first or the last. Uh, I don't, it doesn't really matter. I think, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll just leave it as square root of 18 and we'll just wait and reduce it at the end. Okay. And like I said, it doesn't matter which way. All right. So here we're going to multiply numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. All right. So this is going to give us 6 times 3 plus square root of 18 over 3 minus square root of 18 times 3 plus square root of 18. Okay. Now, let's multiply the numerator. So we'll distribute the 6. So that's going to give me 18 plus 6 square roots of 18 over, all right, now look at this, that's the denominator. Well, remember, remember your formula, a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared, okay? So you can see in this problem, a is 3, b is square root of 18. So this would be 3 squared minus the square root of 18 squared. Okay. Now if you if you have trouble using this formula here or you don't remember it, you don't think of it, you can fold this out. First outside inside last. You can fold it and you're going to get the same answer. It'll just take you a little more work. Okay. So here we have 18 plus 6 square root of 18 over, and then 3 squared is 9 minus square root of 18 squared. Well, anytime you square a square root, you're going to get what's underneath the radical. And so this is 18 plus 6 square root of 18 over, and then we've got negative 9. Okay. Now let's work on simplifying the radical. All right, so that's going to be 18 plus 6 square root of 9 times 2 over negative 9. All right, so now we have 18 plus, now the square root of 9 is 3, so 3 times 6 is 18. The 2, it'll have to stay underneath the radical over negative 9. Alright, so now, well, we can reduce this 
9 goes into 18 twice, goes into 18 twice. Remember to reduce this, this 9 here, it has to go into both of these, and it does. So negative 9 goes into 18, that would be negative 2. Negative 9 goes into 18, that would be minus 2 square root of 2. And that would be our answer. All right, so let's take a look at the second problem. All right, so I've got 2 minus square root of 3 over square root of 2 plus 6. Okay, so in this one you can see nothing under the radical will simplify anymore. So we don't have to worry about that one like we did in the other one. All right, so let's multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by square root of 2 plus square root of 6. I'm sorry, not plus, minus. Okay, so remember the conjugate, you change the sign in the middle. All right, so this is going to be 2 minus square root of 3 times square root of 2 minus square root of 6 over square root of 2 minus or plus square root of 6 times square root of 2 minus square root of 6. All right, so in the numerator, we're going to need to we're going to need to fault it, okay? All right. So so let's fold this out. All right. Computer messed up. All right, so let's fold this out. So that's going to give me, well, multiply the first, 2 times square root of 2. That's 2 square root of 2. So I multiplied the first, multiply the outside. So that's going to be minus 2 square root of 6. Multiply the inside. So negative square root of 3 times square root of 2 is minus square root of 6. And then multiply the last. So negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 6. That's positive square root of 18. And that's going to be over. So remember, this is a plus b times a minus b. So that's going to be a squared minus b squared. Okay. All right. So that's going to give me 2 square root of 2. Now look at this. You see this here? Those are like terms. I can combine those. So negative 2 square root of 6 minus square root of 6 is minus 3 square root of 6. Plus, and then the square root of 18, that will simplify. And we, we simplified it in the other problem, so I'm not going to write out the work. Just remember, that's 3 square root of 2. You can rewind the video and see how I did that. And that's 2 minus 6. So here, well, I've got like terms again. I've got 2 square root of 2 and 3 square root of 2. So that's going to be uh, 5 square root of 2 minus 3 square root of 6 over negative 4. And we can see here nothing cancels. Okay, And so this would be our final answer. So I hope this helped. Uh, give me a like, subscribe. Share the video and thanks for watching.